to create the Chuck Buddy, I used a piece of software called Tinkercad. Now, Tinkercad is an online piece of software that is free. You can register to it, create an account, and then you can save all your pieces that you create. Now, to create these pieces, you have to use the different uh, preset pieces that they supply to create your uh, item. It's a bit too deep to go in depth now but I may do a video if people want it showing you how to do basic um, parts so it's made of several different pieces uh, the thread is one creation then we have the collar that's another creation then we've got the base uh, within the base you have to then do your holes for your screws and then you have to count the sink nose and then obviously the description of the M33 3.5 and then obviously the SK Crafts on the back there so it takes a little bit of time to do but um, a little bit of practice a little bit of messing about and it's actually quite easy so what we do then is once it has been created and saved to uh, Tinkercad we can export it and send it over to our piece of software um, where we actually set up for the printer and convert it into a G code. So uh, let's go over to there and I'll show you the process how we created the uh, Chuck Buddy ready for printing. So once you've done your design in Tinkercad and exported it, you then will be able to open it into whatever software you use. I use Ultramaker uh, by Cura, it came with a 3D printer. Now, what this brings it in and you are able to do loads and loads of different modifications on the piece while it's in this area this is all down to your print quality uh, you can enlarge the piece, uh, piece you can decrease the piece and uh, you can change your different sets so we had issues with the first um, chuck buddies they were breaking where the thread joined the color when you screwed them up tight uh, the reason this was was because I only did the I was new to 3d printing and I didn't really know a lot and I just left it on the basic settings when I did a little, a little bit of research the infill was only at 20% so I increased the infill to 50% and what this does it gives you um, a lot tighter knit um, infill to create a stronger print so that was the first thing we did the second thing i did is originally it was on cube uh, this shows you the difference between a cube this is the cube um, this is what we originally printed on but we changed it to the trihexagon and as you can see it's a lot stronger um, fill so they're the two main things i changed and then the other thing i changed was the um, plate adhesion um, it came as standard with the skirt, which is this one here. It just puts a thin bead around the outside. I think that's three lines or whatever. Uh, but I did it to a brim. The reason being is uh, on the skirt, you seem to get a little bit of uneven print around the outer edge as the as the, the filament cool down. Uh, with the brim, it just holds the heat a little bit better and gives you a better print on the bottom of your piece. So those were the three changes I really made. Um, and they seem to work we end up with better print quality for the chuck buddies and we end up with a decent piece finished piece so once you've done that you need to slice it that will then convert it into a g code for your printer to um, read and then once you've done that you can then export it onto a micro sd card uh, which you plug into your print uh, which then goes into your printer the printer is not connected to the computer it's not advisable to run your printer off your computer uh, just in case there's problems with the computer um, so most 3d printers work on a micro SD or an SD card so that is how we actually get it ready to print um, so let's go over to the printer and uh, watch it print we've chosen the program we're going to run on this occasion it's the M33 by 3.5 Chuck Buddy um, the way the 3D printer works is, if you can imagine your computer printer, uh, inkjet printer, say, printing in the same place over and over and over again to create a higher build, that's basically the way a 3D printer works. Um, but rather than being two dimension, obviously it's three dimension, 
each layer of the 3D printer or is you can set it but on this occasion it's 0.06 millimeters um, so you can imagine there's quite a lot of layers to create the chuck buddy um, the time it takes to print this particular program is around about 3 hours and 25 minutes um, but as of times it by 100 real total fast time uh, you're going to see in about three and a half minutes Now you're getting to a stage where it's coming to the last few passes of its uh, cycle. Uh, once it's finished, the head will lift and then the uh, hot plate will move to the outside and then it will do a shutdown sequence so the heated bed and the uh, print nozzle will cool down and release the piece off the bed. You can't pull the piece off unless the bed is cold because the heat is what keeps the, uh, the 3D printed item to the bed. And if you try to, being the bed only being glass, you may crack the bed or, or break the bed, but always best to wait. So we have the finished product all on the end of the lathe ready to go to be used. Easy storage for all your chucks, Sander. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.